Well guys, welcome to the Outback Detectorus. I'm constantly being asked, how do I clean my coins? Now, first things first, a lot of people get upset about cleaning coins. End of the day, what you find is yours. You can do whatever you like with them. Don't let anyone put you off, enjoy the hobby. Um, I do suggest to check key dates. Make sure you haven't got anything um, very rare or worth a lot of money. So anything I clean is usually um, uh, just common, so no problem at all. Anyway, let's get started. Dishwashing liquid, CLR, as you can see. Just some water, my tumbler, container, bucket, whatever you want to call it. What I think is very important is inside here, you can see, it's called stainless steel jewelers mix. All different shapes and sizes, pointy, round, balls, everything. And that gets right into the nooks and crannies of all your um, relics that you find and coins. Now it's very, um, very soft on anything, uh, coins and gold and everything. They actually use it for jewellery, so um, it won't wear away at anything as long as you don't leave it in too long. Okay, now first step, step one. These are some coins I found today, a shillings and a, a sixpence. Very grubby, yet again people don't like seeing me clean them, but I'd rather nice and clean and shiny as I don't plan to sell them. So, um, yeah, let's, do, let's, let's get this done. Anyway, put them in the tumbler. Now what I do now is just put some water, I'll just zoom in a little bit there. Just put enough water in to to cover the coins and also the jewelers mix by about two centimeters there's no real science to this there's no measurements i just do it by i get the clr next just put a dollop in there and not too much dishwashing liquid, just enough to get the bubbles happening. Probably about a spoonful, just enough to get some bubbles going as it's turning around and washing everything. It helps get the, helps get all the um, grime off it too, which is good. Okay, so what we do now is you can see the coins in there with the water and also the CLR. Put the, uh, the lid back on the uh, tumbler bucket now we'll put this in for two hours tumbling away we'll check it if not clean which it's not usually clean after two hours we'll wash that water out and all the stuff in it the CLR and the dishwashing liquid put a fresh lot in and usually this next second hour so four hours in total sometimes it takes more than that so just keep doing it and you should have yourself some really nice clean coins this goes the same for silver, uh, the copper ones, all the pennies, half pennies. Um, it does all sorts of brass relics, cleans up everything. It just depends if you want to have it looking nice and clean. Um, yet again, you find <clears throat> you find these relics, do as you like with it, as long as you don't plan on selling. If you plan on selling, then look into things a bit further. I like my things nice and clean. Some things I keep looking old. I'll just use a toothbrush and just give them a light... Uh, oil afterwards but stuff like this I like to look and make them look pretty nice anyway put this on the tumbler we'll get started and uh, stay tuned okay guys now we've got the tumbler here I've got it up on an angle like that because I had a bit of a problem with the dishwashing liquid getting a bit bubbly and popping the top off so it keeps the water level at the back and I've never had a leak once since from doing this from that angle so okay we'll put the barrel onto the tumbler, turn her on, and there we go. We'll keep doing that, we'll let it tumble for two hours, come back, check it, see how we go. Okay guys, now we've done our two hours of the tumble, ready to open her up, and what I always use here, this regular strainer, obviously not one for cooking, buy one uh, just for this type of work. You're gonna find out it's a bit throffy in there. That's from the detergent, obviously. And let's pour it out. Now, I usually 
usually run a hose over this so you can see what's going on. It washes it all off. And uh, we'll grab our coins out. Okay, we've got one. Looking absolutely beautiful. Now, we need to put it on hard ground. Let's put the coin just there for a second. Let's find the other one. And the other one. Beautiful. Okay, now, just put this down so you guys can see them. Absolute stunners, they come up really nice. I'll just zoom in on it for you. Now I know some of you might notice or comment a bit on this shilling being a, a scarce one, listed as um, a hard to come by one. I know it is, um, but I just want my coins clean not selling them and uh, yeah happy with the way they come up so all my copper coins come up looking really nice and all my silvers are like brand new yet again some people won't like it but they all fine just do as you like so that's how I clean my coin everyone coins everyone um, grab a tumbler rock tumbler for gemstone work and Get into it. Thanks for watching.